Hello Fleet Ready fam! Welcome to Fleet Ready Gaming. My name is Savad and welcome to the channel. It is April 2nd and we're doing a second patch note watch out episode today as CIG just released a patch for 319 PTU just a couple minutes ago. So let's go ahead and check out and go over the patch notes. All right, so patch notes were posted at 10.47 a.m., but they just readily came available. I literally just a minute ago got the notification in my launcher, so I checked out Spectrum, and lo and behold, here was the patch notes. Let's go ahead and go over the known issues. Missing header dropdowns for source category, subcategory, search, and the shop kiosks. CBD is restricted zone and will impound and teleport players upon arrival. Uh, PTU live wait for player spawn connection timeout for arena commander. The Aegis reclaimer, uh, reclaimer has no rear elevator interaction from ship exterior. Also with the reclaimer, the main on elevator control panels do not respond to input. The mole is still uh, having interaction prompts for all mining turrets are easy to miss and intuitive locations for players. The consolidated Outlander hover quad uh, is being spawned slightly stuck in the ground. Wide screens, uh, uh, hints for wide screens are not, do not appear when loading into the universe. Uh, let's see, mining UI is appearing in low resolution. The snub fighter lacks interaction prompts to enter it, making it unusable for the constellation. Shards can fail to load after a crash or restart with a resource exhausted error during uh, uh, query zone hosts. Uh, Stanton Act, her feature for the multi tool issues with RMC canisters reload behavior. The tr uh, still having issues with the transit systems, the trams are out of sync with. The station timers causing trans overlap or not appear on time. For shopping, store kiosks won't populate locations if certain ships are stored. For FPS hull scraping, the salvage attachment has the VFX of the tractor beam and does not function. For ASOP terminal, spawning ships causes the requested ship to spawn outside the, of the hangars. And finally, for Grim Hex, Wallace Klim becomes stuck under the floor near the hangars after being streamed out and streamed back in. Moving on to feature updates. Uh, locations, updated building blocks, shop UI for Cassaba Dumpers Depot style BB implementation and the Warville LODs and collision, uh, collisions had a polished pass. For gameplay, they added default port unlock keybind to right alt k they removed the old hint system and added the newly revamped dynamic hints ui on to bug fixes fixed active feature network players in a given instance may experience a response latency of up to a dozen of seconds for interactions go on to have fixed uh, for uh, pes and ocs uh, fleet manager, when players stream out an area and an owned vehicle unstreams, the vehicle does not stream back in and ASOP, just, uh, an ASOP status destroyed. Definitely good one to have fixed. Hurston, Lorville. Most of the landing pads on the Lorville skyscrapers are missing collision. Definitely another one to have fixed. AI FPS, AI combat, uh, enemy combat AI is slow to respond or react. Another one to have Good to be fixed, uh, especially for bunkers um, or derelict sites. Area 18 interactables locations. Players can be injured or killed when getting out of the chair in the have. Definitely going to have fixed. Area 18 uh, pharmacy kiosk. Buying pharmacy items at Empire Health results in invalid location error. Aegis Redeemer. Redeemer was missing collision on its floor. Miss Cole A. A collision wall is, was blocking the player from removing internal components with the tractor beam. Ship, uh, shopping kiosks. All shopping kiosks were misaligned offset in uh, interaction space. 
uh, multi-vehicle scanned in Cryastro vehicle repair. Replacing detached components cost one alpha UEC to repair, allowing cheap duplication and selling of non-stock components. That is a definitely a good one to fix because that could easily be uh, become an exploit. Fixed drag vulture tractor components. Difficult, impossible to remove internal components due to geometry. Glad to see that's been fixed. Uh, Ghost Hollow locations. AI Cutlass Blacks will infinitely spawn in the area. Damn, uh, that would have been fun to mess around with. Uh, you know, infinite amount of salvage. Uh, if you have called arms, infinite amount of dudes to kill, 500 a pop. Oh, that would have been good. Um, and finally, uh, Arena Commander UI menus, find match button grayed out until player switches game modes. Another good one to see fixed. And then finally, for technical, we had one client crash fixed and three server crashes fixed as well. Overall, a nice clean patch. Uh, a lot of good fixes in there. Not, you know, that known issue list kind of drastically disappeared. I'm curious if, you know, a lot of those issues are already being addressed in another fix that will, you know, another patch that will hopefully come out tomorrow. Um, maybe they were able to get them taken care of in the back end, so they didn't need to apply them to this patch. But hopefully, you know, it's on the up and up. Um, as mentioned in the video we posted earlier today, we're going to be streaming here in a little bit, me and some of my org mates, and we're going to be checking out 319. So if you'd like to check it out, if you don't have access to 319, come join me uh, on the stream, chat it up, and uh, yeah, we'll talk everything there is Star Citizen and all the new features. But uh, until then, like the video, really helps us out. Subscribe to the channel. we got a contest going on right now. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment, followed by the hashtag FleetReadyMay to enter yourself into the contest. More information in the top right here. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.